What is going on, YouTube? Fascinating graveyard. Today, we are in Siler City, North Carolina, at the Oakwood Cemetery, and we're here to visit the grave of Francis Bavier. But many, many people out in the universe know her, of course, as Aunt B, the beloved television character played on the Andy Griffith Show in the 1960s. Originally, Francis was born on December 14, 1902 in New York City. Originally, she wanted to be a school teacher, and I believe she was going to attend Columbia University. However, she decided that she wanted to be an actress. She did a couple plays. Uh, one of her biggest uh, breakout roles was playing with Henry Fonda on the play Point of No Return. I believe she did a couple USO tours uh, entertaining the troops overseas during the uh, war. And she came back to the States. Uh, she did some, you know, played like bit little small bit roles in TVs and uh, movies. Uh, she was in... The Day the Earth Stood Still, uh, she played on an episode of The Lone Ranger. And she played on the Eve Arden show as the mother of the character, Eve Arden. What is the Eve Arden show? I have no idea. I've never, ever heard of that show. Maybe I should have looked it up before I started filming. Maybe I just didn't feel like it. Anyways, moving along. So... On the Danny Thomas show, I wouldn't call the Andy Griffith show a spinoff of the Danny Thomas show, but those characters played on the episode of the Danny Thomas show, and that's how the Andy Griffith show got its start, of course, starring Andy Griffith, Don Knotts, and Francis Bavier with uh, Ron Howard as Opie. That show ran from 1960 to 1968, and I guess Andy Griffith got really tired of playing the role he felt he couldn't do anything more with it and he wanted to spread his wings and try other roles so he left so after that they had a spinoff of the show called mayberry rfd and i bet rfd stood for really freaking dumb that you left the show andy griffith because it only lasted three seasons without you big buddy <laughs> I believe after the show ended, pretty much uh, Francis retired from acting. And uh, later on, I believe in 1971 or 72, she moved out to this uh, lovely city, Siler City, North Carolina. And she lived here from about 1971 or 1972 to her death on December 6th, 1989, about a week short of her 87th birthday. They had hit her up about doing a uh, Andy Griffith reunion movie, TV movie or show or whatever, and uh, she declined the offer because she felt that, uh, well, she was just too sick. You know, by the time they hit her up, I mean, she was already in, I believe, in her 80s. And uh, you may not know this about her, but she was described on the television show as, quote, hard to work with. Uh, she didn't put up with that nonsense. You know, they would make jokes, you know, behind the scenes, you know, probably sex jokes or whatever. And she wasn't about that. You know, she, by that time, she was already in her 60s. You know what I mean? She ain't trying to hear any, you know, any crazy jokes or whatever. Anyways, of course, a part of, a part of American television, you know, Americana, culture, whatever. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. Look at that. Hopefully they'll get her a new picture. And of course, you got her famous pickles. Uh, she was known for pickling pickles on the show, I believe. It's got a lot of pickles right there. And uh, yeah, there it is. Frances Bavier, Aunt B. To live in the hearts of those left behind is not to die. She had a lot of cats. I think later on in her life, she became kind of like the uh, the crazy cat lady. She had like a bunch of cats in her house. And uh, she just lived a quiet life. She didn't want to be bothered with anything. And, eh, you know, I believe she was married way back in uh, 1928. But other than that, 
no husband. I don't believe she had any children. So, anyways, uh, very awesome grave. Um, and I'm glad to see that there's flowers and people are coming by. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, I don't think those pickles are good anymore. I, I don't think those pickles are, are no longer good. Now, these pickles look good. Those look really, really good. Those pickles, not so much. Should I try one? It says right here, thanks for the laughs. And then I can't read the rest of the writing. The writing is ineligible. It's not legible, excuse me. Anyways, rest in peace to Francis Bavier, but will always known be known as Aunt B from the Andy Griffith Show. All right, guys, Fascinating Graveyard. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, let you know when I upload. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Lamont at Large. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.